वेलकम बैक यूर वॉचिंग मार्केट फटाफट और ई टी नाव लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद स्टॉक्स दर बाजिंग इन ट्रेड लेट्स स्टॉक वो सोलर एक्टिव दिस वन वॉज नॉट एक्चुअली बाजिंग इन फैक्ट दिस वन वेंट अड एंड स्नैप्ड नाइन डे गेनिंग स्ट्रीक एक्चुअली विनी एंड एज यू कैन सी टॉन यू स्क्रीन फोर परसेंट डाउन टेक ऑन दिस वन थ्री एंड हाफ परसेंट एट वन टाइम पॉइंट टाइम इज डाउन बट फोर एंड हाफ परसेंट एंड रिमेंबर स्नैपिंग अ नाइन डे गेनिंग स्ट्रीक टी पी जी ग्रोथ फोर एस एफ हैज नियरली हाफ टू स्टेक टू अब फोर पॉइंट फोर फोर परसेंट फ्रॉम एट पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट इन द कंपनी एंड दैट्स द रीजन वाई द स्टॉक इज एक्चुअली इज डिक्लाइनिंग इन ट्रेड टूडे इन फैक्ट इन द नाइन डेज दैट इट रैली इट्स ऑल गेन ऑफ एज मच एज थर्टी परसेंट सो द स्टॉक ट्रे is really under pressure on back of the fact a fund has halved its stake in the company okay surely keeping an eye out uh, on uh, solar active but let's move on to the next stock that we are highlighting rbnl again as in focus today also because of an auto win there's no guessing that you know we've seen a least uh, recently a lot of auto wins that have coming in and uh, that is why rbnl is holding auto gains of 1.3% now when you look at it uh, what is the auto win this is coming in for the company uh, so uh, the company has got uh, been declared as the lowest bidder for the overhead equipment modification work uh, for upgrading the existing 2 kilowatt electric tra uh, traction uh, system uh, which is going to be there and this is by the central railway is what they've gotten this order from uh, and uh, we're keeping an eye out on especially in terms of the total cost of the order it's around 133 crores so yes and like to finish in 2 years 1.3% uptake as of now is what rbnl is holding on to on the back of the software All right, let's move on. Then let's talk about V Mart. Then Jine, and this one also Q1 operational performance. In focus because of the Q1 operational uh, performances, the total revenue from operations stood at 793 uh, 90 crores, which is an uptake of about 16% on year-on-year -year basis and 18% on quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. The SSSG uh, stood at around 11% growth, whereas if you look, talk about company's uh, net store addition, it was about seven stores in Q1. Also, Motila Roswal has come up with a note, and they have maintained a neutral rating on the company. What they say is that the Lime Road uh, segment of the company actually uh, declared a revenue decline of about 29% year-on-year basis. But what they see uh, this is as a positive for the company, as it will curtail the consolidated EBITDA loss for the company. And when you adjust for this, the Vimart revenue, including their unlimited stores, stands uh, grew around a 16% year-on-year basis. So with this, the total store count, uh, store store count of uh, Vimart stands at 448 stores, within which Vimart has 370 stores and Unlimited has around 78 stores. And if you look at the stock price, it is buzzing up around 7.8%. 5.8%. Stock around. Yes, 5.8 percent is what it's trading at. Almost near the day's highest point. Keeping an eye out on that. But let's move on. Talk about Bharat Forge, MM Forgings, GNA Axel. All of this. Why are they in focus? Class 8 order data for the month gone by is out, and on the back of that, we have all these stocks in focus. Bharat Forge is not doing much. MF Forging is up nearly two odd percent, but if we uh, get the chart of GNA Axles, that stock is up nearly six odd percent in today's trading session. On the back of this, so North America Class 8 net orders came in at about 14,800 units, which is down 37 percent on a sequential basis and 12 percent on a year-on-year basis. But as far as management or rather analyst commentary is concerned, that is on the positive side. So Act Research believes that net orders are expected to. Turn to normal levels going forward. So, on the back of this positive commentary, we have some of these stocks gaining in trade today. Bharat Forge, MM Forgings, and GNA Axles gaining anywhere between half to six odd percent in today's trading session. All right. So, those are the uh, counters that will be in focus on back of that class uh, eight uh, truck orders. But uh, let's talk about Moil uh, Jine, and uh, this one in focus uh, on back of uh, the sales data that has come out, right? Well, yes. Again, the Q1 uh, sales data. So, company registered a uh, record quarterly sales and production since the inception. If you talk about production, it stood at 4.7 lakh tons, which was about 8% growth on year-on-year -year basis. And Q1 sales witnessed growth of about 14.5% year-on-year basis. Also, company continues its focus on exploration activities and carried out exploratory uh, or core drilling uh, of about 30,028 meters. Which was a growth of about 49% year-on-year basis. Now, Ajit Kumar, who is the CMD of Moil, expressed his confidence that the company will continue to maintain this momentum in coming years as well. And if you look at the stock, the stock is buzzing up around 5.9%. Charlie keeping an eye on that one. Let's move on. Talk about HDFC Bank, which is actually pulling up the Nifty Bank. Today. 
play as well. Mm -hmm. KFC Bank is managing to hold on to very good gains. Now, what happened is in June 2024, we saw that the shareholder, uh, shareholding data revealed that FII holdings have gone down to 54% versus a 55.5% in March uh, 2024. So this, uh, the FII room now increased to 25.9% versus 24.9%, which was previously in the previous quarter. Uh, increase FII room means there's an adjustment factor that increases from 0.5 times to one time and uh, overall the increase adjustment factor will increase the weightage from 7.2 times to 7.5 times from currently 3.8 times uh, which we're seeing in terms of the adjustment factor so this also means that there's a possibility that that MSCI announcement that is expected on August 13th we could see an increase in terms of the weightage coming in for HDFC Bank and that is why we're seeing a bit of a uh, run-up coming in the flows obviously related to that rejig will start coming in from August 30th but surely keeping an eye out on this one Right. In fact, uh, y'all are also spoken to Rahul Shah, isn't it? And he also spoke about uh, this in detail. Let's hear uh, what his views were. If we look at the return perspective, what SDFC has given in the last uh, couple of years and where the Nifty has given, so I think it has underperformed. And so I think uh, post this thing, and we've already seen some kind of momentum coming back into the bank uh, in last one month and a half. So we saw that stock has moved up 10, 10, 12 percent post-election uh, uh, results and I think uh, 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 most importantly I think where the stock was underperforming in last few months I think because of the selling by FIs and so on and on now I think we'll see at least at par performance with the markets. Okay let's move on and bring on board also Sneha Seth on the technical front. Sneha very good afternoon and thank you so much for joining in with us on ET Now. Today you've picked out Bandhan Bank for us as the first talk on the technicals. So yeah, what's the word coming in for Bandhan Bank? After very long, I think someone I'm seeing is picking up Bandhan mm. Bank. Are the charts looking attractive now? Easy to buy at this slide? Uh, good afternoon. Uh, thanks for having me, Ansho. Uh, now, if you look at the Bandhan Bank, it is up nearly 3.5% today. If you look at the overall chart structure, it has been consolidating uh, from quite some time. On the higher side, I believe, uh, 210 is an immediate resistance. And on the lower side, it was... Uh, 198 over 200 this zone has been acting as a support so it's been quite some time that counter was trading in this range today's activity is quite interesting we are also seeing some unwinding and out of the money call options i believe any move beyond say uh, 210 212 will bring some momentum in this counter uh, so one can expect it to at least go towards uh, 227 to 230 zone uh, once it crosses uh, 210 212 or zone so someone who wants to go ahead and buy any banks i would say bandhan bank can be choosed uh, with a strict stop loss of 202 all right let's talk about uh, tarc chart this particular counter has hit a fresh record high level on an intraday basis this is because uh, ambit capital has come out with a note uh, today on the real estate developers where they have actually gone ahead and initiated coverage with a buy rating and they've set a target price of around 325 rupees per share which is uh, which is at least 56% premium to the last closing price and 50% premium to the record high level which already the stock is uh, near the record high levels uh, as well in today's trading session. We are saying that the targets are partnering with contractors like Arabian Construction and leveraging uh, land holdings of over 500 acres in the national capital region will deliver it a, a superior, a superior margins and the potential debt retirement by FY26. Well, Ambit Capital is saying they're expecting targets or projects or launches worth more than about 15,000 crore rupees over FY25-27 project additions as well as delivery of projects to drive the re-rating going ahead. So therefore, uh, you have Ambit that's gone ahead and initiated coverage on Ambit Capital. Uh, uh, sorry, I beg your pardon, Ambit Capital going ahead and initiating coverage on TARC with a target price of around 325 rupees per share. Okay, surely keeping an eye out on TARC over there. Let's move on and talk about the next talk on the technicals. And Apollo Hospitals uh, is what you've picked out for us, uh, uh, Sneha. Uh, what is it that one should be watching out for in terms of the levels for Apollo Hospitals? Last six months, not much of an excitement, right? From the highest point in the last six months, we've seen a decline coming in, a bit of a correction. So now what's the word? Structure. This counter has made a strong base around uh, 5,690 or so. Uh, from last 
four sessions it has uh, been you know consolidating however if you look at the overall chart structure looking at the strong base formation now i believe uh, if someone wants to go and you know long this counter uh, one can you know think of uh, adding a fresh long with a stick stop loss of 6050 and upside any move beyond uh, 6300 320 would be interesting to watch out so that the first level to watch out will be uh, 6300 once we see an up move beyond this zone uh, we can expect this counter to head towards 6500 plus zone so i think this reward ratio is quite good if someone wants to go ahead and add a fresh long so with a strict stop loss of 6550 uh, one uh, 6050 one can go long okay keeping an eye out on the levels over there for Apollo Hospitals let's move on and talk about Mahindra Mahindra Financials why is that in focus they came out with their Q1 update now we have brokerage notes that came out post that uh, what uh, are this brokerage notes are highlighting we have city as well as jefferies now city is maintaining a neutral rating target price of 310 rupees per share they believe the Q1 update was in line uh, with what the street was expecting broadly in line they said the seasonality in Q1 is something that witnessed a growth in terms of increase in terms of the gs uh, to uh, 3 to 3 3.6% from 3.4% uh, for FY24 and uh, which is slightly lower than what they were expecting though NIMS that came in as a positive surprise in Q4 so yes they anticipate that that could maybe uh, be tapering off now a bit on the high base that we saw in the last quarter so keeping an eye out on that other than that even jefferies is maintaining a hold uh, loan growth is something that has moderated uh, stage 2 and 3 assets have seen a rise on a quarter on quarter basis but they believe that the better visibility from the return on asset point of view expansion is something that will drive the uh, stock to a re-rating side and obviously the positive on the stock as well All right, so uh, let's move on and let's talk about Tata Consumer then Sneha. And how is this one actually looking on the charts to you right now? An attractive bet in the FMCG pack, or do you think that it will still take some more time to recover? Uh, looking at the strong comeback and specifically in last two sessions, I think there is a potential that you know this counter can surpass the resistance zone placed around eleven fifty. So once we see an up move at, at least above eleven fifty or a closing at least uh, with uh, what level we are seeing now, I think this uh, counter is poised to you know head towards twelve uh, hundred uh, to thirteen hundred uh, zone. So I think if someone wants to go ahead and long, they can you know think of this counter as well. Uh, one can keep a strict stop loss of le- uh, around triple one zero, and any move or any move above at least eleven uh, fifty. uh in next uh, in today or next uh, yesterday in tomorrow session i think we may head towards uh 11000 uh, uh sorry uh, 1270 to 80 or so so uh, the chart structures are quite good good base formation in this counter i think uh, we uh, the probability of it surpassing the resistance is quite high so one can go ahead and long one can go ahead and uh, have a long position on tata consumers keeping an eye on the level over there but on that note we are going to slip into a very short break don't go anywhere because after the break we'll be continuing with more stocks that have been in focus welcome back you're watching market for tata for 2018 now surely and both of us are quite excited to welcome our viewers again and stay tuned in because we have a lot of stocks So we want to highlight all of that, right? Absolutely. Sharon? But before we go back to highlighting the stocks, let's take a look at what the markets are doing. Like Vinny said, it's a range-bound trading session uh, coming in for the markets after hitting fresh record high levels once upon uh, once again. And there you go. Uh, you have those levels being sustained for the markets. One hour of trading session still left to go. Looks like it is going to be a good positive close, despite me wearing the shade of red today, uh, Vinny. Absolutely. Despite when normally I only point out when it's there, yeah. but yesterday it's going the other direction. Market is like I don't care who's wearing what. I'm going to go only oh. one way, and that's gaining momentum and holding on to that level. Nifty yeah. Bank surely, clearly holding on to, and you know, top sectoral gainers. The financial side is what we've seen in terms of an up move, and that's no doubt. We spoke about HDFC Bank, but we have Axis Bank, uh, ICICI Bank, SBI, Kotak. All the pullers that I'm seeing is only from the banking mm-hmm. side that I've seen. Yesterday, obviously, Kotak had seen a fall because of the news flows coming in today. Holding on to gains of almost a percent is what Kotak is doing. On the flip side, today we don't have Reliance. You know that's actually supporting in terms of a gain that we are watching out for. So yes, uh, Reliance is seeing a bit of a decline today. But despite that, we are seeing that market is managing to hold on to good gains of almost a percent and a half. And TCS as well as Titan are seeing a bit of a decline there. So yes, uh, that's what we are watching out for uh, today in. 
trade TCS Reliance Titan among the losers of the season. Yes, but nevertheless, everyone's been waiting for the big comeback to come in from HDFC Bank, and it's, uh, it's uh, actually proving to be a great yes. comeback given the fact that despite Reliance Industries falling, you have HDFC Bank holding the markets firmly in a position. But Ashesha, let's talk about Walkart. And let's try and understand what's holding Walkart in that pole position because given the fact that this particular counter has been seeing non-stop rally over the last uh, four to five trading sessions, maybe one day a uh, year and there a blip, but yes, holding on to 6% gains today. Of the day's highest point for the day, but if you look at the chart for the last several days, it is up nearly 60% in the last 11 trading sessions. So 11 trading sessions uh, of gains is what the company has reported. Solid. Um, performance as far as stock performance is concerned but uh, remember US Body Clinical and Laboratory Standards Institute or the CLSI has awarded high susceptibility breakouts to one of its drug which is used to treat cancer patients in the United States and that is the key trigger because of which the stock has been running for the last several trading sessions. It is likely to be launched in India in early FY26. As far as its surprising in India is concerned, it is expected to be priced at a discount of about 80 to 85 percent as compared to its pricing in the United States. Uh, and the price in the United States is at about $15,000. It stands at 12.5 lakh rupees. And as far as the market potential is concerned, its market could stand at about 25 billion US dollars. So on the back of this landmark approval that the company has received an initial success for this cancer treatment drug, the stock has been in focus for the last several trading sessions. Absolutely, focus for the last uh, several trading sessions, almost a 50% uptick in just uh, 11 trading sessions, more than that. So interesting to watch out for from Walkhart Pharma. But overall, let's listen into what Aman Chauhan of Abacus uh, Asset Managers had to say in terms of the exposure they have in the pharma space. What do they think about it and what are they bullish on? And within pharma also, the genetic space is now uh, looking better. Uh, exports is now... Uh, better than what it was say six months back or 12 months back so that space is good domestic pharma always was a steady player you have a steady volume as well as value growth uh, here but for us it's mainly cdmo companies and export uh, oriented companies in within the pharma space that uh, we are getting more bullish on all right then uh, let's move on and let's talk about piramal enterprises neha how is actually this one looking on the charts to you piramal enterprises every time it makes an up move uh, people get excited about it but then the stock flattens out or consolidates what about it now if we look at the chart structure uh, for piramal enterprise we are seeing a, a rising trend line support for uh, this counter which was placed around uh, 780 odd zone and from precisely from there only we are seeing some buying interest in fact recently volumes were quite good and the, at this point in time this counter on the daily chart is trading around 200 is simple moving average uh, and any move beyond uh, 940 odd zone would be interesting to watch out in this counter i believe looking at the uh, any looking at the volumes recently there are chances that we may surpass this resistance zone and at least head towards 1000 1020 or zone so if someone you know uh, are looking to go ahead and long any counter i would say this is uh, this would be a good bet the risk to reward ratio is also quite good so one can give, keep a strict stop loss around uh, 910 and go long uh, for the target of uh, uh, 1000 1020 Okay, let's move on to the next talk and we should talk about Arvind uh, Jinnai. Why is Arvind in focus? What's, uh, I believe it's a brokerage note, right? Yes, so Philip Capital has actually initiated a buying rating with a target price of Rs 514 and what drives the confidence is company's strategic shift from heavy uh, asset textile to relatively asset light model, uh, relatively higher ROE and ROC segments such as advanced material division which is AMD and garmenting business. Now this foray into technical textiles which is AMD enables the company's access to 100 billion uh, US dollars global market. Also, they believe that within textiles, the company is poised for growth, especially in the garmenting division. Now, if you look at the new capacity, uh, this, it is expected to clock of a growth of over 25% CAGR from FY 2024 to FY 2026. And also, they're expecting a revenue and profit CAGR of 11% and 30% CAGR uh, respectively from FY 24 to FY 2026. And that is why the stock is up around 0.6%. Uh, well, earlier it was up around 2%. 
All right, so that is Arvind for you. Let's talk about sugar counters. Ashesha, all of them in focus. At one point in time, all of them actually slipped from uh, the day's highest point. And why is that? stocks are off from the day's highest point and this after Risma released uh, sugar data for the full year, for the full sugar season where they are estimating surplus of about 3.5 lakh tons for the full year because of which the stocks were off from the day's highest point. Remember there were concerns with respect to deficit at the start of the sugar season but gradually uh, things improved and now sugar, uh, uh, the industry is expecting surplus for the full year. We spoke to the management of Sri Renuka Sugars earlier in the day and they said that this is largely on expected lines. As far as exports are concerned, with it, uh, which is currently banned, they do not expect any relaxation with respect to sugar exports. And uh, there are no concerns with respect to usage of sugar uh, or rather usage of sugar cane for ethanol production. So largely it was an expected lines but some sentimental impact on the stock because of which all of them are off from the day's highest point. Absolutely, some impact coming in on the sentiment wise on the stocks and that is why off the day is highest point. But let's move on and also talk about the flashes at the bottom of your screen which you're seeing and that's the next stock we're going to talk about, Gujarat Gas. We're seeing a fall coming in of almost 2% for Gujarat Gas as of now but what the news flow is that Gujarat Gas has actually hiked uh, uh, Morbi gas prices to pass on the higher input cost. We're seeing that the price hike is in the range of around uh, rupees uh, 2.5 uh, metric which they're measuring uh, for its Morbi industrial customers and overall all the spot LNG prices have increased uh, from the range of two, uh, $10 to $13. So yes, a $3 increase that we are seeing in terms of those prices there. And they have taken a price hike of 2.5 rupees. Now with this hike uh, is now around, uh, uh, gas is now going to be uh, at around rupees 3.4 SCM, which is uh, more expensive than propane. So gas volumes in the region are at around 4.5 mm uh, metric uh, measuring uh, unit of theirs. And with with propane at 3.3. Uh, so analysts what they believe is that the price hike may further divert some bit of the volumes to the propane side. So yes that comes in as a concern because increase in prices means mm -hmm. not everyone is going to go to them uh, and they have a substitute so moving on to propane is what is a possibility that comes in and that's why Gujarat gets a bit of a pressure there. Absolutely pressure and as we were speaking actually the stock was inching lower now 2% down coming in for Gujarat gas. But Sneha let's talk about Infosys and how are the charts looking for Infosys now? If we look at the chart structure, it is quite strong. This counter had made a good base around 1400 or so. Uh, and from there, it is now trading at 1600 plus levels. I believe uh, on uh, if someone is holding any long position, they should continue to hold. I expect this counter to head towards at least 1700, 17 plus zone. So uh, I think uh, one who is holding a long position may continue to hold uh, any move towards 1700 should be reviewed and then you know uh, whether to hold it or not uh, can be decided but at, at this point in uh, time I see it seems that we are heading towards 1700. All right, so that's the view coming in on uh, Infosys, but that was the last talk on this edition of Market Fatafa. Thank you so much, Dine, Ashesha, uh, Sneha, as well as Nagraj for joining us on the show and taking our views to all the stocks that are moving in trade today. And uh, meanwhile, the T20 World Cup winning Indian uh, men's uh, cricket team is finally on a flight to come back home. The Indian cricket team has left from Barbados in a flight arranged by BCCI Secretary Jay Shah. The plane is also carrying the members of Indian media who were stranded in Barbados. So those are the visuals on your screen. Okay, and with that, we are absolutely out of time. So it's going to be a goodbye from Cheryl, myself, as well as the team who put the show together. Stay tuned in. Closing trades will take the action forward. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.